all right guys so welcome back to another video as the title suggests today i'll be showing you guys five workouts that you can do to enhance your glutes yes to get those booty bigger and it's gonna be five simple exercises and we will be using no equipment just some workouts you can do at home and um it will be a 10 minute workout a quick 10 minute workout that you can do every day to enhance your booty so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it so the first workout will be the donkey kicks and we're gonna be doing 50 reps for each except for the final one which is some squats and we're gonna be doing 20 squats because it's the easiest so we're gonna start off with the donkey kicks and we're gonna do 15 reps so let's go so you want to make sure you keep your knees bent and tight where when it goes up you just kick it up as hard as you can and then you lower it down so you kick with all your strength up and then you lower it down but while you're doing that you want to keep your knees bent like this your foot bent like this just so you can get that feel you know on your glutes and get your glutes activated so we're gonna do 15 so let's go All right, so we're just gonna repeat the process for the next side. We're gonna do 15 reps on each side for each exercises. We're gonna do 15. So let's go to the next side. I don't know if you felt it, but I can feel like the pain right here in my thigh, in the back of my thigh. And that's where you're supposed to be feeling the pain. And also right beneath the glute line, like right there, <laughs> you're supposed to be feeling pain. So if you're not feeling pain, you just wanna go ahead and Kick a little harder and make sure that your knee is kept bent while you're going up. You know, it's kind of that motion right there. So we're gonna do that for the next side. So let's go. So the next workout that we're about to do is the donkey kicks as well, but it's like a pulse reps. So while you're kicking it, it's supposed to be like the heartbeat, like pulse rate. That's how fast we're going to do it. And we're going to do 15 on each side. So let's get right into it. If you need to get water, go ahead and get your water. Make sure you have your water out because you're going to need it. If you ever need to take a sip, make sure you go ahead and take a sip of your water and let's get into the next move so i'm gonna be showing you what we're gonna do next it's the donkey kick but it's like a pulse feeling so rather than taking it slow we're gonna do this faster and at a pulse pace so let's go 15 on each side Moving on to the next side. And while you're doing this, I did not like, while I'm doing it, my knee is not touching ground. It's just coming right up to my abs and going right back into my glutes. So you wanna make sure that um, your knee is not touching the ground when you go down. I lost count, but um, let's start from 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
50. So that is that. So we already completed two workouts. So if you need to get some water, go ahead and get some water. The next workout is basically the fire hydrant. And what that does is, you know that nice shape that you get right here? So that's how you achieve that shape that you get right here. You know, if you want your booty to grow up, you do workouts that go that way. But if you want your booty to grow out, this is the type of workout that you do. So we're gonna do the fire hydrant. And basically this is how you do it. You do like some scissor shapes, open, close. But while you're doing it, you wanna keep your back like straight, your upper body straight and just go out with your legs. So um, we're doing a five second break. Take your break and let's get right into it. All right, so now we're gonna do the fire hydrant and we're about to do 15 on each side. So let's go. Remember I said to keep your upper body straight and just move your legs. And you want to bring your legs as high as possible. Try to touch your elbows. Okay, so we're on to the next leg. Same process. So the next workout is called rainbow cakes and let me show you guys what that looks like so you'll be on your elbows for this exercise and you'll have one knee bent like this and the other will be straight moving it from one point to the next in a circle of motion however your feet is not touching ground in this exercise so we're about to do that if you need to get some water Go ahead and get some water. We're about to start the workout in three, two, one. So let's start with the left leg. You wanna make sure your foot is not touching the ground when you go over. Okay, so we're moving on to the next leg. All right, so we are almost, we're 98% completed with our workout. The next is basically gonna be some squats and I know everybody knows how to do squats. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into the squats. If you need to get water, go ahead and get some water. We're gonna jump right in. You wanna get your feet hip width apart and then we're gonna do this nice and simple. We're gonna go down in our squats we want to make sure we keep our upper body straight as possible. If you need some support, go ahead and put your hand on your knees for support or put your hands on your hip for support. But I'm going to be doing like this and I'm going to be moving my hands. So if you can do that, then go ahead and do that. But let's get into our squats. So you want to go as low as possible. You want to go as low as possible. So let's go. You want to make sure you keep your back straight and you go as low as possible. One. And you want to keep that butt in. You want to tuck that butt in when you get back up.
All right, guys. So let me know if you like these workouts. You should be feeling it in these areas right here. You should be feeling pain. If you're not feeling pain, feel free to save this workout and go ahead and <laughs> try it again on your own. Guys, this is the end of today's video. Look at your rings. Make sure you close your rings. And this is the end of today's video. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. And most importantly, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'll see you guys in another video.